Hey guys, Nujibooch here coming at you. Today we're going to talk about The Forests. The Forest was a 2014 late May early release title that came out on Steam and is now one of the top five early access titles available. Every two to three weeks, the developers on this game release new content and new areas for the game, making this a standout title in the vast genre of survival games. The story in The Forest is fairly straightforward. You survive a plane crash along with your son Timmy, as seen taken by a cannibalistic figure on your plane, and it's up to you to find out what happened to Timmy and the other survivors of the plane crash. With the use of a survival handbook, the basics for surviving the forest are laid out in front of you, and the blueprints for structures and fortifications and also weapons designs are also shown. But enough about that. Let's talk about how pretty this game actually looks. The graphics in this game are unreal. The HDR lighting, ambient occlusion, everything in this game shows just how much the creators and developers have put into it, and it really shows in the way the forest feels. The combat in this game is fast, gory, and has come a long way since its early days in its alpha stage. And the further you go down into the cave system of the forest, the bigger and larger and faster these enemies get. <laughs> This is it. I have to beat him. <laughs> now you would think that being captured by these cannibals wouldn't be the worst of it, but you'd actually be wrong. I would much rather be captured instead of out in the forest simply because I don't have those things running all over the place looking for me. Speaking of caves, these things are huge. I'm talking multi-tiered, dark, and enemy infested caves. However, there are some beautiful lighting designs that do happen in these caves especially the water reflections in some of the larger caverns. And as big as the forest is, these caves go surprisingly deep. Just watch as I go down this rope. Besides cave diving alone, the game actually also lets you do some underwater exploration inside the caves also. This leads to secret hidden treasures, stronger weapons, and in some cases the only way to continue to progress through a cave. In some of the later patches released by the developers, multiplayer is now included and can allow up to 8 players to play on the same server in the same world of the forest. This means hunting, crafting, and survival in general can now be done with your friends, and trust me when I say, it's worth it. Building structures and crafting in this game isn't nearly as difficult as some other open world survivals have been. In this one, all you pretty much have to do is open up your guidebook, pick an option, pick where you want it, like this treehouse, and then press E to place the blueprint of where you want it. Gathering logs is pretty much what it sounds like. You chop down a tree, you're gonna get your logs. Chopping down trees in this game is actually impressive to look at, too. Once you've finished building whatever it was you were trying to complete, you can take pride in knowing that you chopped down the trees and did whatever it was necessary to make that happen. Now, when I built this treehouse, I thought I was gonna be safe. Then, shortly after, about seven cannibals came up, tore down the tree and the treehouse that I was in, which didn't result in a good end for me. In the current state this game is in right now, I would gladly give it a 7.5 out of 10. However, if the developers continue to give this game incredible content updates, this game could be way higher by the time of its official release. I hope you guys have enjoyed this objective review of The Forest, and I have left out a lot of surprises and things that are in the game that I just don't want to ruin if you haven't played it before. However, here's a glimpse of one thing that you just need to see.